we find ourselves today at a real turning point. Lawmakers and top cabinet officials discussed whether the Biden administration's latest budget will allow the U.S. to compete with China or fall behind. Today, China has the world's largest navy, the world's largest army, and the world's largest economy by purchasing power parity. Beijing has said it wants to use this growing power to control the island of Taiwan by force if necessary. 50 percent of world trade travels through the Taiwan Strait, and Taiwan manufactures more than 70 percent of the world's semiconductors, the foundation for computers. If there were to be a crisis as a result of unilateral action uh, taken by China with regard to Taiwan, we would have a, a global economic uh, crisis on our hands that country after country would be affected by. Officials say the U.S. remains committed to Taiwan, with a massive military aid package for the Democratic Island expected soon. And Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin warned that if Congress fails to pass a U.S. budget on time, U.S. interest would suffer. It will delay our ability to um, get the critical munitions that we need uh, for ourselves and also to support our allies and partners as well. But Republican Senator Lindsey Graham criticized the administration for trying to pin U.S. shortcomings vis-a-vis -vis China on Congress. So this idea that we have a strong China policy is a bunch of crap. It's not the budget will deter China. It's our will to take on people like China. Republicans argue that Biden's budget fails to fund new ships the U.S. Navy says it needs to deter China. And they criticize the president's refusal to declare Russia a state sponsor of terrorism over its war in Ukraine, which senators on both sides of the aisle say would send a strong message, while Beijing reportedly weighs sending military aid to Moscow. Carla Babb, VOA News, Washington.